And meanwhile, Brazil is experiencing an environmental crisis caused by severe drought and wildfires, largely triggered by criminal groups. The issue was addressed by President Lula da Silva on Tuesday at the UN. What do Brazilian citizens and organizations think about it? Details with our correspondent Andres Vieira. The sun is red with fire. Brazil is still burning. Throughout September, the nation concentrated more than 70% of the forest fires in South America. While experiencing its worst drought in 70 years, investigations point to the fact that part of this fire was caused by criminal action. A similar attack to what happened in 2019 with the so-called Day of Fire during the government of Jair Bolsonaro. Mainly sectors of the latifundium, landowners, land invaders, illegal miners, the country was in flames. So without understanding this political dimension of the rise of the extreme right and its values such as the anti-vaccine movement, climate and scientific denialism, it is difficult to confront them. September is not over yet, but Brazil has already recorded more than 200,000 forest fire outbreaks in 2024, with the Amazon being the most affected natural region, according to official data. The worst numbers since 2010. But who are the sectors that gain from this destruction? Animal breeders, such as cattle breeders, seeking to expand the territory to breed these animals. People are hidden behind large organizations and pay 300 reals for a person to set fire in a vegetation in a dry climate. This Tuesday at the United Nations General Assembly, Brazilian President Lula da Silva reaffirmed that he will confront those who threaten biodiversity and the country's sovereignty. Forest fires spread across the country and destroyed 5 million hectares in the month of August alone. My government does not outsource responsibilities and does not abdicate its sovereignty. We have already done a lot, but we know that much more needs to be done. In addition to facing the challenges of the climate crisis, we are fighting against those who profit from environmental destruction. On the other hand, environmental movements are asking the president to decree a climate emergency and order sectors that are inert in the face of the crisis to move. Without resources, there are no public policies, and it will also provide that we mobilize other forces of the state apparatus that are currently uninvolved in this calamity of Brazil in flames. I am talking here, for example, about the armed forces. In Congress, dozens of parliamentary initiatives seek to increase the punishment for those who cause forest fires, which currently ranges from two to four years in prison. In November, Brazil will host the G20 summit and in 2025, the UN Climate Conference. The world is watching closely what is happening in the South American giant.